Hello students. In last lecture, we will discuss about inline functions, function prototyping, function overloading, and before argument. Now next topic is arrays. Array is a collection of identical data objects which are stored in consecutive memory locations under common variable name. Means we can store a number of variables under a common variable name, but they have to same data type. And it stores elements in a consecutive memory location means linearly stored. To declare an array, define the variable type, specify the name of array, followed by square brackets and specify the number of elements it should store. Syntax for array. Data type, array name, and expression means number of elements stored in array. For example, we can declare array data type A, it's a name of array, and number of elements stored in array is 10. An above example, first array element has index 0. Means in this example, array contains 1 to 10 elements. And index of first element is 0. We can call it as A of 0 because our array name is a and index of last element is a of 9. In array, we can pass whole array as a function parameter. For example, we declare function sum data type integer array of 10 and int c. This declares a function sum with two parameters. Out of one is an array. It is a of 10. So this is concept of array. Using array, you can declare multiple variables of the same type under a common variable name. Next is pointers. A pointer is a variable which holds the memory address of other variable. Means it stores the memory address of another variable. Star operator. Star operator is used to declare pointers in C++. General from for pointer variable declaration, data type, and star variable name means you have to do data type for that, that variable and use only a star operator. For example, data type int and star ptr. It holds address of variable which has data type integer. For example, we declare variable var. Suppose var is a variable. Assign value it to 50.
so 50 is stored in memory location 1001 and 1001 is stored in our pointer variable ptr means ptr is a variable that stores the memory address of another variable so ptr is called pointer same as for example declare int x is equals to 25 the pointer variable and using and operator you can access the address of that variable in here we use and x means address of x meaning of and is address of x variable value of x assign is 25 address of x is 0003 and star p is a pointer variable which stores the memory address of x that is memory address of x is 003 and address of that pointer is 0000 pointers allow to return structure variables from functions it also supports dynamic allocation and deallocation of memory segments by using pointers, variable can be swapped using physically without physically moving them. Using pointers, it allows to establish link between data elements or objects. It also allows to pass variables, arrays, functions, strings, structures, objects as a function argument. Use of pointers in a function definition may be classified into two groups. That is call by value and call by reference. First is call by value. When our block of program call a function, control will be automatically transferred from the main function to the calling functions. Means, trans means control is transferred from function call to function definition. And value of actual argument is copied to the function. Means at the time of function calling, we pass arguments with it. And then that variables are copied into the function definition. Within function, actual value may be altered or changed. When the control is transferred back from function to program, alter values are not transferred back. Means when we call function, control is transferred from function call to function definition. At that time, value may be altered or changed. But when function call is written back from function definition to main program, means where we call function, then that values are not copied back. This type of passing is formal of formal argument to function is called call by value. Means in call by value, original value cannot be changed or modified. In call by value, when you pass value to the function, it is locally stored by the function parameter in a stack memory location. If you change the value of function parameter, it is changed for the current function only. For example, swapping of two numbers. We declare function void swap int x int y. After that, main function variable declaration. We declare int a is equals to 100 and int b is equals to 200. First, we print value before swap, value of a and value of b. Now, calling a function to swap values using variable reference. Means we call values 
and we pass two variables a and b now function call control is go from function call to function definition here definition of function now we pass two arguments this variables are copy into function definition parameters in we declare temporary variable in tem now value of x means value of a x is equals to 100 and y is equals to 100 here we declare this values temporary variable we store in temporary variable value of x value of x is 100 so in temp 100 is stored now we give value of y into x now x is equals to value of y is 200 now we are copy value of temp into variable y value of temp is 100 so y is equals to 100 using swap function we can use swap value of two variables now function is end cursor again return to the main function and it prints after swap values of a and b what would is here before swap value of a is 100 before swap value of b is 200 after swap value of a and after swap value of b means this is call by value we call a function using a value in call by reference we call function using address of value but in call by value we call a function using a value or passing a values in call by value actual values may be changed or alter in function definition but when cursor is return to main function values are unchanged means no change of values so second type is call by reference in call by reference when a function is called by a program the address of the actual argument are copy on to the formal argument means in call by value there uh, there is well, call by value there is values of actual argument are copied into a formal argument but in call by reference address of actual argument are copied on to the formal argument that is the formal and actual argument are referring to the same memory location therefore change in the value of formal argument affects the value of actual argument the content of a variable that are altered within the function are returned to calling portion of a program in the alter form in call by value values return same means no no values altered or change but in call by reference values are altered or change it means the changes made to the parameter affect the pass argument to pass a value by reference argument pointers are passed to the function just like any other value
means you need to declare the function parameters as a pointer types. For example, same example, swapping of two numbers. Function declaration, while swap. Here, int x, int y are two pointers. Main function, we declare int a is equal to 100 and b is equal to 200. Print values before swapping, before swap value of a, before swap value of b. Now calling a function to swap the values. Here, and a indicates it's a pointer to a. That is address of variable a. And b indicates pointer to b. That is address of variable b. Means and indicates address of call means we call swap function using address of variable a and address of variable b. Now function calling, control is transferred to function call to function definition. Here is a function definition. Wide swap int star x star y x and y are two pointers variable we declare a temporary variable again value of x is copied into temporary variable that is temp is equals to now 100 after that value of y is copied into x means now x is equals to 200 and value of y is equals to 100 means same program but using call by reference means using address of variable in call by value we pass values directly but using call by reference we pass the address of a variable to call a function 